Texas Television, live from Salina. Hello there, I'm James the Jiggy Jaguar Low, and uh, tonight on uh, Live from Salina, we're going to be taking you to the footage that me and Ninja Larry shot when we went to see Fred Phelps and his lovely protesters from the Westboro Baptist Church, and uh, all sorts of other things tonight, and we're also going to be talking about the anti-protesters, which... Oh boy, they're not going to like me when I'm done with this. So uh, let's go watch live from Salida here on Community Access Television. <laughs> Ready to show on access, Jiggy Jag TV, whatever the hell you want to call it. And uh, we've got anti protesters. Get a shot of the anti protesters. We've got anti protesters. I like that, that fuck Phelps sign. That's great. <laughs> then we got then we got Fred Phelps and all his guys. They outnumber those guys. <laughs> These guys ought to have their head in the books. These guys are concerned citizens. So let's go over and talk to Fred Phelps and them. We'll be back here in a sec here on uh, Community Access Television. I like the signs that you're going to hold the hell of a They're going. I know. <laughs> I've, uh, I've learned how. <laughs> we're back here on Community Access Television, Salina, and uh, we're out here. Uh, they're having a demonstration against, oh, the Salina Journal, which you just warmed my heart demonstrating against the Salina Journal. I hate these pigs. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but um, what exactly are you guys demonstrating against the Salina Journal for? Well, they've held a position of trust in this town for as long as I can remember. All yeah. my life, the Salina Journal has been here, like just down the street from, uh, from us. And I'm talking about... Uh, paper that had the responsibility to tell the people the truth, yeah. to help them connect up dots. When this nation is getting the crap knocked out of them by an <laughs> yeah. angry God, uh, and their hand is dripping with responsibility for failing to tell anyone the truth, always pushing filth. This paper has been, oh, we picked it here before. I mean, back Good in the job. <laughs> well, they never saw a uh, a, a filthy manner of life that they didn't want to promote. Yep. They didn't, never saw a vile issue that they didn't want to get on the wrong side of. And so we were in the neighborhood because we have a picket the, over at K-State. Yeah, why, why were you over at the high schools today? Well, because before these children that God is killing are, are out on the killing fields yeah. in Iraq and Afghanistan, they're sitting in the high schools and the colleges of this nation being taught that God is a liar and rebellion against his standards. So uh, we go to the high schools because they have the right to know before they get out there and get killed. Ah, okay. Now tell me what 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 signs you got here. Yep. I have America's doomed. Mourn for your sins. Flags are beasts and God is your enemy. And I had a terrible struggle, but I finally gave up that you will eat your baby sign, which I usually have the young man down there is holding that you will eat your baby, that your babies, because this nation's destruction is imminent. Uh, introduce me to some of these folks. That you've got with you. That's my. I have eleven children. That little guy right there is number ten. What? Yeah. No. And that, little, that young lady there. Is it just the weather, or you guys spread out in different places, or? Yes, yes. We have to go so many places. It's hard for me to think of ideas. All over this country, we're picketing more and more places than we ever have because the time is growing so short. So uh, we have to spread out and run light and fast. <laughs> now, uh, you mind if I chat with, chat with these guys? No, no. Okay. They'll talk to you. All right. Well, sir, what's going on? I know. Tell me about tell me about your sign and everything you got here. First, uh, I'll tell you, I love the flag. I love the uh, 
I'll tell you, you guys have this talent with the holding the signs. Yeah. We've been doing this for 19 years. We've had a church for 15 And this is what you're about? The community organizer. Yeah, he's with the bullshit and that kind of stuff. He's a nerd. That cannot kill him. He's a nerd. 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 should be studying for a test somewhere. But uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us about what you got here. Yeah, my name is Toyota. I'm from the Westboro Baptist Church, Street of Kansas. We're servants of God. We go across the country, everywhere um, that we can get to, to get this message into the ear and be seen by every human being. Um, we're going to have permission from God just as Noah did. Noah, it says in Hebrews 11 that Noah condemned the world. That's what we're doing. We're quickly, by making them decide, see the word of God and make a decision whether they're going to serve God or not serve God. If they love these words and they don't love these words, we're pickling them in their sins and uh, sealing their fate uh, because they hate these words. So. <laughs> well, tell me about your signs here. Okay. Um, I have the beast of Jesus. Uh, Jews killed Jesus, so that's just a matter of fact. Everybody yes. knows that, but uh, everybody wants to bring up Jesus was a Jew. Well, what does that prove? They killed, they killed their own Messiah, and we're coming to the hour, just as we come to the, to the uh, final hours where the Antichrist comes forth, we also have some elect Jews that are going to come forth and they're going to repent for killing Christ, and they're going to be saved. And it's going to be a glorious thing, because the Lord from uh, ages past promised that he would, that he, that he loves Israel, and that he's going to call out people for his name, a very small run, 144,000, and they're going to serve and obey God. It's going to be wonderful to glorify God. So that's what that, this side is saying the truth, they need to repent of this sin. 
And then you've got then Fags do Nations. Fags do Nations. You know, have you ever heard of Sodom and Gomorrah? That is, yes. that is in Jude it says, that's um, set forth as, as an example of suffering the vengeance of the empire. They were, they're an example to us, to every nation. You can't say that the sin of Sodom and condoning that filthy abomination. If you do that as a nation, you are surely doomed. America's going to suffer the same fate. You've got uh, going to hell. Going to hell. Yes, yes. 99.999999% <laughs> um, of uh, the worst population that ever was is going to hell. Because God called, He says that he, uh, that he loves His elect, but He hates the rest. The re it, Jesus Christ said, straight is the gate, and there is the way that leads to life. And few there be that find it. And broad and easy is the way that leads to destruction, and many go in there. And so... Again and again and again in the scriptures it says there's going to be a very small remnant. A remnant is already a very small piece of something. But then a very small, very small piece of something? It's a very few people are actually um, loved of God and that are going to uh, go to heaven. So. Well, thank you for speaking with us. Appreciate it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to see, uh, we're actually going to go, we're going to talk to the last two. But before we do that, we're going to take a quick little time out here on Access TV. Alright, this is Tammy Verhoff and I'm here with some of the protesters for Fred Phelps. What's your name? Shirley Phelps Roper. Hi Shirley. Hi. So why are you here today? Here because, well we came because of the KSU where they're bringing a transgender thing to tell those children the glories of uh, whacking off and mutilating their private parts. Uh, all I guess for the glory of God and how uh, good that is. We're here to remind them that the standards of God do not change. God does not change. That He said homosexuality is an abomination and all the rest of these things that we do to uh, violate His standards and His commandments. We brought great wrath on this, this nation. And this nation's destruction is imminent. So we run fast and light and we cover a lot of territory. Now, do you feel that your protesters here that you actually make a change? Then it is. You might not like it, but it's going to do something for slime. What we've done here and all over this nation, all over this world, you understand that by the loving kindness of the living God, our gospel is preached all over the world. It's been a little here and a little there, but 19 years we've been standing on the streets every day. Now we're in the last hours of the last days of all. And this final call is going forth. By these signs, which are called compassion of God, compassion. Uh, we are binding this nation to the standards of God. And the scripture says, by that, we open up an unencumbered path for the wrath of God to be broken. So we're going to do it then. And this nation had a blueprint for how to do it. It's called Jonah. That's the difference. Now, tell me if I'm correct. Do you hear the transgender speaker that have the Salina going on? That's what I said at the beginning. That's the event that brought us here. We go to the places where uh, there's something happening to help you connect the dots. From that rebellion to your dead soldiers, to your dead children, to the wrath of God pouring out on this nation. Now, I have a question about that. <laughs> Does it matter what happens on the outside, or is it more what's on the inside that matters? You know what's on the inside, or what it shows on the outside. It's out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks and that the actions are had. Their hearts are desperately wicked. It's deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, and you can know it. That's what God says. And it is out of the abundance of their dark, evil hearts that you look over there, and you see all that rebellion. That's not this rebellion, you understand? Is this rebellion the same? Just, I'm just wondering, is this rebellion the same? What rebellion? They have signs, you have signs, for two different causes. Good. We're telling you the standards of God. We're giving you the commandments of God in a nutshell. That's all. We're, this is a rebellion. But what we're doing is talking to you about that rebellion. 
It's only rebellion if it's against God. Now, what I'm seeing is I'm seeing two people that think they're right. They don't two, think they're right. They don't think they're right. These little dummies have been raised by a generation of parents who first hate them and second have lied to them, failed them. You don't have, this isn't rocket science. Is this that, judgment? It's not rocket science. It's the judgments of God that are, the scripture says, you know God by these judgments he's executing in front of you. Killing your children, killing your soldiers, sending them home in little pieces in body bags. He used IEDs on them. He has turned back the weapons of this nation. They think they're, they've got a badass military and they're going to go use their shock and awe and they're going to make all the nation's problem. And what God has done, pursuant to his promises in Jeremiah 21, is turn back their weapons. He's put in the hands of their enemies the dirt, IED that is undoing this nation's military might. And you look over there, and that's the cause of it. These children have been taught that God is a liar. Okay, we're going. Yo. All right, Shirley Phelps has a question for our other protesters. Shirley, what's that question? These children, it's a cop quiz, boy. They need to answer this question. Why? God destroys Sodom. If they don't know the answer, they need to get over to their homes and ask their parents, why did God destroy Sodom? And why didn't you teach us about this? You know what they say to these students, and they say all over the nation, the history that you forget is the history that you are bound to repeat. And that's the history they forgot. God destroyed Sodom. He destroyed the five cities of the plains because, uh, because of their rebellion against his plain commandment, thou shalt not lie with mankind as a woman in his abomination. See, that's not right. Thou shalt not kill. They murder their babies. They've been taught that God is a liar. Thou shalt not commit adultery. The Lord Jesus Christ said, if you divorce and remarry, you're living in adultery. Then he says, uh, no fornication. So these kids have been taught, no, that's a lie. It's okay to change your sex partners and your spouses more often change your anger. If you produce a baby in the middle of all that filthy conduct, you feel free to kill it. And now they have this stupid nation, this duped, including the Antichrist, the beast of Baba, into the most powerful office in the world. So it's a short time on this nation's destruction. That's right. Yes or no? Do you feel there's anybody over there that possibly be a Christian that possibly could love God as much as you? You're kidding me, they love themselves and their idols. They God is way down. Look, when you start talking God to these kids, they think that God is their private part. These kids worship themselves and their idols. And that's all. All right. Tamara for Shirley Phelps. Thank you very much, Shirley. Here on Access TV. They're hooting and hollering and uh, we're out here. Doing the damn thing, as they say. I don't know who's saying it. I don't know why they're saying it, but dollars to donuts. And I think the guy without the shirt brought the donuts, so I'm going to go get them from him. And uh, we're going to go across the street and talk to the guys that should have their head in the books. That guy should put a shirt on. They should stop selling popsicles. And they should take those flags down. So we'll be back here on Access TV. Oh, good Lord. We've got anti-protesters that are protesting the protesters. What I think is funny is there's more of these people than there are of them. So, uh, and I think there's somebody selling popsicles over there somewhere. And, uh, <laughs> this is a circus. Oh, what are we, uh, Mandy? Mandy, my good friend Mandy, yes. Were, are you from Hutch? Did you ever live in Hutch? Oh, shit. <laughs> More people than I know. So if I say the word, so if I say, so if I say the name Dutch, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everybody knows the wine offer. Let's set her over here seeing at these guys. Okay, let's go. Let's go for it. We got anti-protesters. Where you want me at? It doesn't matter. Pick a spot. If you want to stand over by the popsicle guy, that's fine. We can, we can plug the popsicles. I don't care. Oh my God! Watch out, Larry. There. 
Okay. We got people driving by. We got gawkers. We got chicks in go-go boots. Obama loves you, baby. <laughs> Apparently, Ed McMahon made the trip, or Telly Savalas. We're back here on Access TV, and uh, it's such a small world, ladies and gentlemen. Jiggy Jake Wire back with you here. And Mandy, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Now, uh, tell us about what we're doing here today. Um, we're just out here showing our pride and showing our love. We've got signs aplenty. <laughs> My God. Now, uh, when did you guys come up with the idea to be anti-protesters to the protesters? Um, I'm assuming when everybody found out about it. Okay. <laughs> it kind of spread like wildfire on the internet, so. There's more of you than there are of them. Oh, yeah, and we're a lot louder, too. <laughs> Is there some reason why there's more of you than there are of them? Because uh, we got more love, right? Yeah! <laughs> now, uh, what the? What, what? <laughs> Do you guys have a central leader, or is it just everybody's it's just? Everybody. It's everybody. Oh, okay. Everyone's eating. Well, then somebody tell that one guy down there to put a shirt on. <laughs> okay, now. Uh, how do you guys, uh, are you guys going to follow them? Have you guys been following them all over the damn place? I think everything started out at South, and then after this, uh, it goes to K-State Salina. Uh. Have fun in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we've recruited this guy. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Who's that guy? Who's that guy? That's just sort of chant. But, um, so what, 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 what do you think of them and their, they do have some cool sign holding techniques. They're, they're able to get, you know, four or five hate-filled signs in, in many hands, whereas you guys have got your awesome signs, but there's nobody holding, like, nine of them in, in, in their hand. you got to give them that a little bit. Uh, they can multitask. <laughs> they can multitask. Now, uh, what, what, is, what is the deal with just their whole look? What do you make of this? Uh, it... It's pretty disrespectful to me. <laughs> so, uh, how long do you think this is gonna this is gonna go on? Are you guys you guys aren't leaving until they leave, right? Yeah. And then you're just following them all over town. Pretty much. You gonna if they go to Burger King and follow them? <laughs> well, I might want a cheeseburger <laughs> <Okay>. then. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to me. No problem. It. Well, let's go watch more here on Access TV. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay. We're back here on Access TV. Don't get turned on, Larry. We've got, uh, <laughs> I should say these things. We've got, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name's John Lackey. Now, uh, why do you not have a shirt on? Because I have a lot of pride. I'm gay and I have a lot of pride. Aren't you freezing, though? It's all for the love. Okay, brother. Well, you gotta, you gotta love that. Now, uh, what do you got here? God loves us all. What is the deal with these guys? They are reading the Bible totally wrong. It says God is totally forgiving. He loves everyone. He, God is not one to judge. No one should think that. God loves us all. And I think yeah. everyone here would believe yeah. that. You got quite a little eclectic group out here. I think, I think uh, if there was any fashion awards being handed out, I don't know if there would be a lot of people winning, but the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, um, why, why did you want to come out here today? How, how, how did you find out about this? Well, I was at work, actually, and I heard people, I heard my boss talking about it. I'm like, what's going on? He's like, there's a protest against gays. And I'm like, for real? And I'm like, I'm totally there. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm going there. I'm going to protest against it, even if I'm the only one there. But I'm glad I have. Apparently, you're not. <laughs> Are you going to be following with everybody over to K-State Salina later? Or? I'm hoping I can. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, well, I guess thanks for doing this, brother. Appreciate it. Well, let's go watch more here on Access TV.
Tammy Verhoff here, um, and we are here talking with Diana, Carol, and Bailey. Now, I picked you guys out because you are, look a little different than everybody else here. Why are you here? I'm here because I'm a follower of Christ, and I believe that Jesus came because he loved everybody, and I'd like to read just two scriptures if I can. In 1 John, it says, He that loves not knows not God, for God is love. It also says in 1 John, We have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he that dwells in love dwells in God, and God in him. And I think that Jesus would be appalled at how um, his representatives uh, are, are shown. I think that Jesus would want us to love everybody and that's what that's what he came to do and we're supposed to be following him and his example thank you now i have a question over here for diana is that correct i'm sorry carol no i was i was speaking earlier with shirley phelps over there and she mentioned that parents are the reasons kids are the way they are it's because of the way parents act it's the way parents are. This is the reason they're children. I believe this is your daughter. Oh, no, this is my friend. I apologize. Your friend. A, a younger friend. Yeah, member of member church. Of church. Uh -huh. I apologize. Um, so that the reason their parents are is the way why the world is the way it is. Do you agree with that at all? Absolutely not. What do you think Sh Shirley Phelps needs to learn or needs to know about our culture today well, to understand us? culture today necessarily. I'm not sure that Shirley needs to know much about culture. I think Shirley's way of understanding scripture is um, a very literal understanding and a very hate-filled understanding. And instead of seeing the gospel as, instead of seeing Jesus as the fullness of God's face, uh, she sees religion as a weapon. Uh, it's been used as a weapon throughout the centuries in the Crusades, and she's used, they are using it as a weapon as well. And I believe that um, it is a hard time coming for parents to understand or to accept gay children. And I think all parents go through a time of thinking, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have let those boys play with that kitchen, or I shouldn't have let that girl have that truck. But when it comes right down to us, we are created who we are. And that is not an act of parenthood, that is an act of God. And so if your children are gay, straight, bisexual, they came that way through the one who made them. Wonderful, ladies, it's wonderful to have a different representation. So much to see all these people, but to see you guys here representing, you know, different age groups and different types of people here, it's wonderful to see you. Thank you so much. Hi, right. we're back here on Access TV, and uh, popsicles, anyone? What are you doing with popsicles? Explain this whole thing to me. What the hell are you doing? I've heard of people setting up lemonade stands, but my God, this is a little much. We decided. It was a little bit ironic to have popsicles sold, and they're pink. Oh, that's nice. Pink, po pink popsicles, and yeah. We just thought it would be a little bit ironic, and we wanted to put a spin on things. So did you make this? Uh, my friend what right the there made it. Here? The man with this, the video this, camera. This, this is great. So uh, have you guys had any anybody take you up on your popsicles yet? Oh, yeah. We got rid of, like... <laughs> 20 some of them we only have five left that's great. <laughs> we're just giving them out for free so oh that's cool anyone who wants one can have one well that's cool to see <laughs> i uh i'm glad yeah. that uh yeah they're starting to melt they're getting ready to uh get the hell out of here so are you going to follow them with the popsicles over to uh k-state salina or is this just a one-time deal i don't know we don't have any popsicles left so if we go we probably won't bring the stand because <laughs> okay. that might be a little pointless <laughs> Well, thanks for talking to yeah. us. Appreciate it. Well, uh, it's starting to kind of die down here. They have left, and that means since they're leaving, all these people are getting the hell out of here, too. They're going to follow them like a fungus over to K-State Salina. So uh, I don't know what the hell we're doing. Let's see if we can grab one more person here. Is there anybody else out here with a, without a shirt on? That's what I like. I like those guys. I uh, like, I want to, I'll be like, what are you doing? Put your shirt on. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hey. You want me to do it? Yeah, go ahead. 